Hi guys, welcome back to Nick and Michael podcast. The good news is now we officially had a name. We are called the Medical Podcast. And before we start, we have a little correction on something that we mistakenly uh, spoke about before. Specifically the Afimini. The Afimini, I made the mistake of saying that it's just a tax number. Yeah, so it's kind yeah. of, I believe, like a social security. Yeah, so it's not just a tax number. Yes. And since we're talking about that Afimi thing, I'm going to tell you this. When you come here, you will need to have one of these. And uh, it's crucial to have a bank account here as an international student because it's another step. In order for you to get the resident permit, uh, I remember when I was here, I think it took us three months. Yeah, four months. Yeah, it, took, it actually took you much longer than it did me. I, I got it in two weeks. You also need an insurance for that. Yeah. And that's going to take, I think, uh, 150 euros per year. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, you can have the normal insurance, or if you're from the EU, you can have the EU medical card. And that covers most of the costs. So, uh, let's start the topic today with transportation. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something funny that happened to me. Uh, so, in the second year, mm -hmm. I bought a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're going to laugh. Of course you're going to laugh. In the second year, I bought a bicycle and uh, I was really happy about it because my house, if I walk to school, it's going to take me about 15 minutes. Uh, and uh, if I have a bike, it would take me like two minutes. And with the bike, you can go literally everywhere in the center of, of uh, Thessaloniki. It's really, really convenient. I would highly recommend you to buy a bike if you have the gut to bring it around. Because the funny part is, six months after, I lost the bike. Uh, my bike was stolen in the back of uh, the school canteen. It was not a happy experience, I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I was parking it behind, like it was around 8, 8.30 in the evening. It was kind of dodgy, you know, it was not very bright anymore. And after finishing eating, I came back, my bike was gone. I honestly thought you were joking when you said it in the chat. I wasn't joking. <laughs> my bike was actually gone. So, I would say to you this, is that wherever you live, like wherever your accommodation is going to be, you should have a bike. Uh, I think it's really, really convenient. But also keep in mind that you might lose it. You can also take the bus all around. The ticket for the bus is pretty cheap for students. It's going to be 45 cents. Keep in mind, it's 45 cents on the non-express buses. There are some buses that are express buses that go, I think, just mainly to the airport. Yeah, I think just to the airport. And just to the airport and back. On those, it's double the price, so it's 90 cents for students, and I think the full ticket is 180. So the bus, I think, is affordable. However, I don't think it's very reliable. What I mean is, I think they run by their own time. Like, there's a, an app, called uh, Move It, right? Move It and, yeah. and OASP, which is... Like the Greek version. Yeah, and then it's the app that the bus company made. Mm. Mm. But the time there is not very reliable, I would say. Like the only thing you could rely on on the bus is either you are used to it, or you have to, you know, in some popular bus stop, there is a digital board saying how many minutes it's gonna come. Yeah, that's more reliable. Other than that, you just have to know. Uh, the taxi here, I would say that it's pretty cheap to compared to a European standard. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. Uh, but just keep in mind, after 12 midnight, it's double. The price is double. You mean for taxi? For taxi, yeah. Really? Yes. I never experienced You that. didn't know that. I didn't know. Yeah, I've experienced it. Uh, coming back from the airport and it's usually coming from the airport to the city center is around 20 euros 25 20 25 around there 
Yeah. If it's past 12, it's around 35 to 40. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. There's a thing recently that uh, we both discovered is the scooter. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Uh, scoot, scoot, scoot. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of these scooters by a company, Hop. And H -O -P. it's, uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's one euro to, to open. And uh, it almost takes three away from me to open euros? it, and then it gives it back. No, yeah. that's called deposit. Yeah, I know it's a deposit, but they will take yeah, initially three. it's one euro to turn on the scooter. And, and point two. And then 20 cents per minute. Yeah, so so keep in mind, it is a bit expensive. Yeah, but there is a uh, discount code. Always. I always have uh, 50 cents. Yeah, I need to tell you about that. Yeah, there's also an um, electrical bike from. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Free Now, in case you don't know, is another Greek uh, app, transportation app. Yeah. You can order taxis and now bicycles. Yeah, and bicycles. So. But they're not very reliable. The app isn't. Really? The app has been bugging out for weeks now. I think you can also buy a car if you have the ability to. Yeah, but remember, it's going to be extremely difficult to find a place to, <laughs> to park around. I mean, I'm not sure if you, if you go to school and you go by car, I think they might let you in to park inside the school. And to park inside the school, I think it's easier, right? It should yeah. be. But like, for example, you go out with your friend and you want to park a car in some kind of popular it's going to be much, much more difficult. So just keep that in mind. In order for you to minimize your transportation time, before you come here, you should do some research in terms of accommodation. What I mean by that is uh, my place, my accommodation, it is towards the center of uh, Thessaloniki. And in the beginning, I thought that, oh, that's great. It means I'm also near the school, also near the center. His accommodation is in the center, which is uh, a bit further to the school, but he's in the center. Mine's like in the middle. I thought it was great, but now I actually don't like it so much anymore. The reason is now I lost my bike. I had to uh, I have to walk again, mm -hmm. and uh, I would rather have an accommodation that is to the other side of the school. Uh, to the side of the gym, to the side of the canteen, you know, mm. because for you to come here, there's an ultimate way for you to save money on food, which is to go to Lesby, to go to the canteen here. It's going to cost you about 60, 60 70, 70 euros. euro per month, and you can have breakfast, lunch, and uh, dinner mm -hmm. in the canteen uh, for the whole month. Imagine, 70, let's say 70 euros, three meals per day for 30 days. So if you just go there and have the food there, uh, I think it's really convenient. And the best thing about it is you don't have to think about what am I going to eat. Right? Yeah, the food there is actually very good. It's it always takes into account your proteins, your carbs, your fiber. Mm. They give you everything. They give you a good mix. So. Oh, another reason is mm. they will give you also vegan options. Yes, they give you vegan and vegetarian options. Uh, so we know a lot of you from the West are more inclined yeah. with that. I feel like uh, that is like a very civilized thing. Like yeah. in Vietnam, we wouldn't have that. In my country, <laughs> we wouldn't have that. Here, they like when you go into the Lesky, there will be three lines. The two lines on the right will be, let's say, meat and stuff. And the line on the left will always be uh, vegetarian or vegan option. So I would say that it's pretty vegan friendly, vegetarian friendly as well. So you really don't have to worry that you might not have something to eat. You will always have something to eat. Unless, unless you are late. Because usually after, let's say for lunch, mm -hmm. after 3.30, they're not gonna have, like, you know, as much 
before. Yeah, the quantities tend to decrease quite Yeah, and in the, quite the fast. evening from, I think, from 8.30, there will be less food. Yeah. I mean, like, option. Let's just say. So just keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah, like, totally go to Lesky, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, save time, money, and you don't have to think. I mean, like, of course you can have uh, one or two meals like out or cook yourself sometime when you want. But for me, it's a, it's a game changer. Uh, in the first year, I was at home. I was cooking a lot because I had time. But now that I'm third year, I, I literally don't have the time anymore, even though I really want to. And uh, I really hoped, I really wish that I knew I could have gone to Lesky all the time before, you know. Yeah, uh, one thing I had to comment on about Lesky, and you guys who go to the gym a lot and are very fit will love Lesky. It's, <laughs> it is extremely healthy and you can get your protein in. Mm. And especially me, because I try to, I do a lot of weights. I'm never worried about what I eat there. Mm. Never. What do they actually have in one week? So, let's say, what did you have uh, last, the last time when you went to Lesky? What did you have? Yeah, so I had beans, but it's these kind of these bigger beans that they call them gigantes in Greek, mm. which is like bigger beans, it's kind of gigantic <laughs> beans, that's what they call them. Yeah, uh, those are pretty good. Yeah, feta on the side, you can have some feta, the salad, and um, at that day they had uh, scrambled eggs, mm. like this. Very small plate of scrambled eggs with some mushrooms. Any dessert? And yeah, they had some dessert. It was like a small red thing, kind of chocolatey orange flavor. Mm. The cakes are always the best there. Yeah, the, the desserts are, so are always the best. Yeah, the, the dessert. Yeah, the, the best desserts I have had in Greece. The dessert period in Lesky is the best. It is, it is the best. You will not get any better. Yeah. This isn't clickbait or anything. This is just <laughs> true. Yeah. I really enjoyed it though. How about the, the meat? If, if they have meat then, what would you have? The meat, I guess it depends. Uh, they had some pork, but I would have preferred if it was a bit more cooked, because mm. it felt... No, it, it was good, uh, but you know, usually pork has quite a bit of fat, so mm. I didn't get rid of that. But the chicken is always really good. I quite enjoyed the chicken. It's uh, grilled chicken so it's not yeah they have a thing here in greece where they eat a lot of rotisserie chicken you can go to the stores and you can get like half a chicken mm. and it's baked grilled and it's perfect how and about uh, your favorite my favorite meal fish yeah i really <laughs> like the fish i really like the uh, cod fish like mm. or something like that. but they they put Scorpenia, which is uh, this garlic paste thing on the side. That isn't that good. They would have the uh, lamb sometimes. Yeah. Ah, okay, the lamb is the best. The <laughs> lamb is the best. That's very uh, occasional. Really. It's very rare. I think it's like every Sunday. Really? Or every other Sunday. Yeah, every two It's Sundays. very rare. Yeah. So if they have lamb, go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you're not going to go to Lasky, mm -hmm. How much do you think you would like pay for uh, food per month? There are some places that sell a, like a big good meal mm. for around um, three fifty to four euros. Mm. Um, there are usually these home cooked meals, chicken, rice, whatever. So this is also very good for those who are trying to put on some lean muscle, very cheaply. Um, yeah, but the prices did go up after all the stuff again. Really? They used to be three euros per meal, mm -hmm. and even a bit cheaper, I think, sometimes for vegetarian options. Yeah, no, I think it's at least three fifty. Right? So at least three fifty. Sometimes it's even four or five. It mm -hmm. depends. Uh, the beef is usually around five. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you go out to like fancy restaurants, seven, eight, and could go to fifteen. I mean, sometimes. But it's a bit, I guess it depends on where you go. But if you go to taverns and stuff, yeah, it's around 7 to 12, 13. 
Yeah, yeah I think that's much more expensive than mm-hmm. either Lasky or you cook yourself. In the first year I was uh, cooking, uh, it's definitely cheaper to uh, compared to eating out, I would say. I would pay around 40, 50 euros for grocery. And uh, yeah, so it means for a month, if you cook yourself, it's going to take you about at least 200, I would say. At least 200. And again, if you go to Lasky, it's uh, 70 euros. Yes, yeah, so I go to Lasky. Yeah, go to Lasky. <laughs>